This is the Mobile App Minute, a weekly look at how to market your mobile app in a noisy world. Here are your hosts, Rob Woodbridge and Peggy Ann Souls. This is the Mobile App Minute, and my name is Rob. And I'm Peggy. All right, so making an app is a complex, complex, complex undertaking. What's even harder is making your app business successful. As we will show you in this series, what you are trying to do, the decisions you make will largely depend on your category of app, your target audience, and your monetization model. Yes, revenue is so important. But you shouldn't just rely on your judgment. Knowing what other app developers think, do, and recommend can also help you avoid pitfalls along the way. Peggy, where should app developers be looking and what should they be reading? We need to help them. We need to always help the app developers. Well, it's it's a it's a really important point, Rob, because this is a business. Okay, we keep the op development part out. This is my preaching here. It is a business. <laughs> business means you need business intelligence. You need to know what the market is doing. So there are some you know resources that you have to be studying. It has to be your daily dose, and we'll go into those in future shows. You know, you have to read your your flurry reports. You have to read your app Annie. You have to read um, certain other reports. Some great companies that I've discussed uh, before, but. In addition, one, um, what I think the, the Bible is for understanding how the developers, their attitudes, how they think, what they're doing, and more importantly, what they're earning. For me, that's the series coming out of Vision Mobile, coming out every single quarter. It's called the Developer Economics Report, and it gives us the State of the Developer Nation Report. That's the research report I'm talking about here. And the newest one, and I've followed this since the very start, and the newest one is amazing. I mean, they started with 3,000 developers. They are up now to 10,000 developers across 137 countries. So if you want to have the source of how the developer is thinking and operating, this is the report to read. So on that note, um, now I've got you so excited about it, you know, well, what's in it? Well, there are some important data points. I mean, some of these for us are going to be like, you know, Rob, we're in the industry, we're like, yes, we know that. No, but we don't know the exact figures, and you need these figures as a confirmation of the shifts in the market right now. So I'll just give you a couple of these. First of all, how many app developers do you think there are? And people ask me this, you know, how many app developers are there? How many apps are there out there? Well, Vision Mobile estimates it at 2.9 million app developers worldwide. And but it's not the number that's the real story here. It's the distribution of the money. That's that's a story that's actually kind of frightening. So I'm going to give you some points from it. A full 50 percent, that is half, of iOS app developers and 64 percent of Android developers are living below the app poverty line of $500 per app per month. Okay. And that sounds very dismal, but I also want to bring in here for a moment, I said I've been reading these reports a long time, bring in a, the point that in an earlier app report, it also came out that Vision Mobile found that a lot of people are not in apps for the money. I know you're going to not believe this, but it's true. But if you think about it, it's not their day job. So, you know, a full 53% or, you know, over half are doing this because they want to be creative, they want to be part of an interesting industry, or they just want to you know, bring that app idea to fruition. So keep that in mind. The fact that they're under the poverty level doesn't mean they're starving, they have other jobs. But still, nonetheless, it tells you how much money are they making. Um, of course, there are others at the other high end of the scale uh, making money. Um, they tell us that uh, at the top of the revenue scale, 1.6% of developers not us, Rob, <laughs> are earning more than 500K per app per month. So that's a big difference. So with, with these numbers, where's the opportunity for the developers? Where should they be focusing? Well, here I'm going to get up on my soapbox again because I've been saying from the very start that if you have an app and it's, you know, and you've paid attention to your user and you've done everything that I've outlined in earlier books to make it a success, more power to you. Unfortunately, not everyone has that. Um, you know, they make an app because they're just thinking it's something I like. Don't even think about the user. Those are sort of like, you know, that's the greatest way to, to fail. That is a massive fail. So if you're not sure about what you have, but you have the abilities, I'm very bullish about the opportunity in the enterprise market because a full 20% 
of the app, of of the of the the you know, the solutions and services they have for the remote workers only 20% are at this point in time mobile friendly or mobilized so do the math that means there's 80% that need to be mobilized so what does that mean for you well two things you could of course go to IBM you know go to Salesforce go to SAP and say hey i want to i want to do an app and you know here's what i have or you work as a contract developer for companies such as, for example, Mubaloo, that have um, a structure where app developers work for them and then they work for the enterprise and give them what they need. But either way, I'm saying the enterprise opportunity is one to really take advantage of if you think that you have the stuff. And if you do have the right stuff, again, our developer report from Vision Mobile tells us, and I just want to leave you with this thought, that 16% of developers who target enterprises are twice as likely to be earning over 5k $5,000 per app per month and almost three times more likely to earn more than 25k per app per month in other words the opportunity is there and if you can tap into it you can have a serious business and some serious income don't forget to come back next week for our next episode